you guys this is destiny's nails uk and we're gonna hit it with yet another one and this is for savvy land um savvy land sent me these acrylic powders um i wasn't very fond of two of them um which both of them said beige but they was both two completely different colors one was a sort of whitish color um and the other one was a sort of greenish off green white color um i didn't like those two um but i did like the rest of them there were some really nice ones in there um especially there's two glitters and there's one blue shimmer um so i'm going to be using about probably about four of them and then probably on my thumb i'll probably do a multi-tone on there and i'm going to be using some nail foils um so let's just do some swatches and get the swatches out of the way i just want to double check which ones i may be going to use um <laughs> that one goes straight to the back <laughs> But um, that one's going to the back too. But yeah, let me just have a look at these colours. Because you know sometimes when you see the colours at the bottom, you know, well on the top of the lid shall I say, um, it doesn't really equal to the powder that's actually inside. So let's just get these lids off and see what these colours actually look like. I must say though, the... Um, the packaging, yet again, like I said, was a bit boring, you know. Um, I, I do wish that Savvyland would jazz it up a little bit so it's more striking to, you know, the human eye, to be honest with you. Um, I do like the packaging that they put their products in, but the actual packaging that it comes in as the box set, it's not really appealing um, compared to some of these other companies. Um that I am an ambassador for um so but like I like I said you know I do like their range of colors I do like um how they package their acrylic powders especially um but yeah apart from apart from that Savvy Land I do like their acrylic powder it's very self-leveling I think I've said that before as well um but these are the colors and we're just going to swatch them to see what they actually look like. Um, I'm going to be using normal tips, square tips for this video. I do usually use my full coverage nails to do the lazy girl method. But um, now and swatch these. I'm using TMBL acrylic liquid because I don't have any other acrylic liquid at the moment I don't really like the acrylic liquid to be honest with you it's very potent um but yeah this is one of the beiges which I said does actually look white um this is another color that I didn't really I wasn't too fond of to be honest with you um and this one, this one was very sparkly. It's like a purple and silver, well, dark purple and silver glitter. And then we've got a nice orange. Do you see how it looks different in the pot? Yeah, see, it's a lot darker than what it appears in the pot. And this is the blue shimmer. Um, To be honest with you, it could do with being a little bit more shimmery because the shimmer is very not you can't really see it um but most of these colors are like macaroon pastel colors i do like that green i think i'm going to use that green and then we've got like a nice light pink so that is the swatches you can see if i can bring it a little closer so you can see do you see what I'm saying about the colours though? You know, they seem a lot more paler in the tub than what they do on the swatches. So, 
I do always advise people when they do get an acrylic powder, unless it's one that you've used before, make sure you do a swatch to know exactly what you're using before you do your nails. Um, so we're just going to... So we're just going to drill the lining of these tips. My nails are already prepped and the nails are, the tips are already on. So we're just going to drill down that fine line so that we haven't got no indents and everything is just going to sit very smoothly on the nail beds. So here we're going to be drilling down the final product and just make sure that we use a good drill bit to go around the cuticle area and then just drill over to make sure that the nail is nice and smooth. You might need to use a drill bit that actually removes the acrylic just in case you are a beginner and you need to remove a bulk of acrylic off of your nails so that it gets nice and smooth. And remember your apex, people. You know, you don't want a very flat nail. You don't want, the last thing you want is a very flat nail with no apex because there's no definition to the nail, you guys. So just be careful if you are using a drill bit that removes acrylic, that you just don't remove the apex. But this is the final product, you guys. I'm really happy with them. And thanks for watching. Make sure that you like, share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Ciao!